So this is Sally Guinea Pig. Uh, she is not pregnant. She is strictly a model for this video. Uh, you might recognize her from my uh, guinea pig sex scene video. She was a pup at the time. Uh, I think she was about a week old. Uh, if you don't recognize her, uh, don't worry. I think I did her and her sister. Uh, I haven't seen the video in a while. <clears throat> um, but she's pretty calm and pretty easy going for what we're about to do. So uh, hopefully she behaves. Uh, anyway, so you have a guinea pig that, or you have a female guinea pig, and you're either 100% certain she's pregnant or you suspect she's pregnant. Um, usually one of the first questions you're going to ask is how far along. Um, normally you can't really tell. I mean, there are certain hallmarks, usually like around week six, when you'll first start feeling the babies. Around the week four to five, they'll start, uh, you'll feel the shoulders, you come back a little bit, you'll start feeling little bumps as the, it gets into the, uh, I guess the femur. So shoulders, and then it starts spreading out. So shoulders. And that spreads out. Uh, kind of reminds me of like a car that has uh, fender flares in the rear. Um, so week four, you might be able to start uh, detecting that if, if she has a lot of babies, that is. Week five, um, it'll become just a little more pronounced. You'll feel like a little bit of a, more than likely you'll feel a little bit of a bump right there. You may not, it'll just feel like a little squishy. <clears throat> week six is when you usually start feeling the babies. Uh, you'll feel tiny, tiny kicks every so often. Um, but once you get into week nine is when the pubic bone starts separating, or the pelvic bone, or whatever you want to call it. Pubis, I think is the correct term. I'm not 100% certain. Um, the, uh, the pelvic bone essentially starts separating and getting ready for when she's getting at her babies. Uh, this is a crude little skeleton. Hopefully it works for the video. Um, but what you'll run into is you'll feel underneath the guinea pig and these two little circles of the bones are bridged together and it'll the top of the circular portions will feel like a horizontal bone like a solid horizontal bone right there so when you feel underneath them you'll feel a little solid bone right there even though if you were to look at um, like an x-ray of this it's actually circular uh, for whatever reason it just feels solid across um, if you want a better illustration of what you're looking at or going to feel or what you're looking at as far as my skeleton is concerned, I should say, <clears throat> is do a quick search for guinea pig pelvic bone and uh, specifically look for the x-ray images. Uh, most of them are uh, a top-down perspective with the guinea pig either on its back or maybe it's an up. Maybe it's a bottom up. I'm not 100% certain, uh, but it will they basically look like a top-down perspective as if the guinea pig was on its back. Um, the two circles will be uh, bridged together. Uh, when week nine occurs, or right around week nine, give or take, um, if your guinea pig goes a day over week nine, please don't scream at me. Um, but around week nine, what will happen is uh, this particular bone, bones uh, will start separating. So when you feel underneath, you will feel a gap right there. Um, so it goes from feeling like, like this, to more like that. And then over time, it will gap a little further. So it'll actually mimic kind of like an M. Um, and again, the M will be bars, gap, bar. Um, these two bones are actually part of the leg or go into the leg, I guess the femur or something is connected to them. Uh, they kind of jet out a little bit. Um, it becomes much more pronounced the further along they are. So, um, what you'll actually see is that uh, when they're really close, you can actually feel from the top. So, uh, let's see if this makes sense here. One second. So, you're going to find the spine right here on either side. When they're far enough along to where the pelvic bone is separated, you can feel it from the back as well. So, there's two ways to tell that the pelvic bone is separated. One is feeling underneath, right above the genital region, and finding the gap right here. And then the other one is um, feeling along the tailbone very carefully. Don't push on it. Uh, you'll find her tailbone, which is right about there. And then on each side, uh, you'll feel these two bones protruding. You'll actually feel more, or it'll be more symbolic of like a fork, like a 
So you feel the spine or the tailbone and then the two sides of the bones uh, jutting out. They're really close. If you can feel that, she's really close to giving birth. Um, within at least a couple days at the most, maybe a week at most, it's hard to say. Um, some guinea pigs will hit week nine, separate within two or three days, they have babies. Other ones will go a full week. Um, <clears throat> they can go up to like 72 to 75 days. So, you know, we're talking a rough time frame here. So she might go a couple days over nine weeks. Uh, don't scream at me. Um, everybody's different. Um, if they only have one pup, it doesn't seem to matter if they have one or six. Uh, they're still going to separate. How far? It, it's just going to be up to the guinea pig. Uh, not all guinea pigs are built the same. Um, Sally here is a little bit of what I'd call like a short guinea pig. My hand is, uh, it's about eight inches. So she's about maybe nine, eight and a half or eight and three quarters, nine inches uh, long. Um, some other guinea pigs are much longer than that. Uh, but anyways, so feel along the spine, you'll find the two little pokes, two little uh, forks sticking out or or what you do is so the little circular patch is right there you're going to feel the top of the circular patch so if the circular patch was like a clock you want to feel for number 12 and there will be a bone right there now obviously do not pick a pregnant guinea pig up and hold her like this this is strictly to show you how to find out where the uh, uh the pelvic bone is located so the way I was holding her just then, circular patch would be right about where my pinky thumbnail is. And then where the top of the nail is, is what you would be feeling for. So when it gaps, you should be able to get almost a finger in there over time. Uh, initially, when it initially gaps, it'd be, you know, maybe you could fit a pencil or something in there, like the width of a pencil, like a number two pencil. Um, and then over time, it should gap a little further. <clears throat> it might not, she might only gap only so far. Then the next thing you know, there's babies in the cage. But at least you know you're in the ballpark of around week nine and you know to be prepared to have babies soon. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, I think that's it. So again, um, I have not seen any mentioning, uh, any online mentions of being able to detect the separation from top down. Um, that's something I figured out on my own. Everything I've read is always mentioned going up underneath. So what I'm describing is giving you at least two different uh, options. Um, you can actually, uh, so let's say, come on. So let's say Sally was super, super pregnant. Uh, if you felt under her like this, she's kicking, jumping, running away. <clears throat> what you could do is come up very quickly, hold her around the shoulders, hold her around the shoulders lightly. You don't have to pinch her or anything like that. And then feel both sides. Or you feel underneath if she allows it if she's not allowing underneath you can always check on the sides just really quick and again it'll feel like a fork like a, a three-pronged fork um, and then uh, within a couple days or so hopefully you have the babies coming out or everybody's healthy and happy so um, I had I'm getting tired I did not plan on doing this video I noticed that there's been a lot of uh, new subscribers recently um, my original videos were just strictly to help people, it wasn't to try and get subscribers or build a channel up or anything like that. But since people have been subscribing, I felt uh, obligated to at least give you guys the content um, as a way to say thank you. Um, as hopefully the phone doesn't shut off while I'm doing this, but I am remodeling a house. So this is the best I could come up with. It's just a really cheap, quick backdrop. Um, but again, I just wanted to say thank you. And here's a little quick, there's Susie guinea pig. Say hi, Susie. Yeah, you said hi. All right, and she's, she doesn't live in the top. It's just uh, strictly because we're in a construction zone that she's in the top, so. All right. Say goodbye, Sally. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Hopefully it helps.